Hey there, Toby Love here with Cross Country Mortgage. And this week I'm coming to you with why sellers should consider VA offers. Now, first and foremost, this is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. Many of you know, and maybe a lot of you don't know, I was in the Navy for eight years right out of high school. I spent five years active duty and then three years in the reserves. And whenever I get the opportunity to work with an active duty military or veteran, it is just the most awesome thing to me. I love it. And like I said, it's very near and dear to my heart. What I am seeing out there though, is that there are a lot of misconceptions about the VA loans. And I hear time and time again, listing agents not wanting to accept the VA loans. So today I'm here to tell you why you should accept or at least consider a VA loan offer. So first of all, now this part has nothing to do with a seller, but VA loans are fantastic for the buyers. They have no MI and they have great, great interest rates. Now here are some of the misconceptions that I hear. So a lot of times I hear the appraisal process is much more scrutinized. That's not necessarily true. If you talk to an appraiser that does conventional loans is where it, as well as VA loans, they will tell you that the VA portion of it is definitely focused on health and safety of the home, but I've seen conventional appraisals and FHA appraisals come in with just as many, if not more, health and safety items. So being a lender for 20 years, I'm not seeing a huge difference in the scrutiny on a VA appraisal. Another cool thing is you get a Tidewater. So if you don't know what a Tidewater is, I have a video just on Tidewaters that you can check out my YouTube channel and watch. But a Tidewater is basically saying, hey, last ditch effort, I'm the appraiser. I can't come up with the value of this listing price. Help me out here. Is there something that I don't know? There is no other loan product that does that. A big time misconception is that there are additional costs to the seller. That is just absolutely not true. If you don't understand that answer, call me and I'll tell you why there is no additional cost to the seller. Um, the other thing with VA loans is the underwriting on VA loans is extremely flexible. So there are things that a, from the VA underwriting standpoint that a VA buyer can do that a conventional and FHA buyer just can't do. They're more flexible when it comes to credit, debt to income ratios, all of that good stuff. Also, jumbo VA with no MI. Oh my gosh, that is an amazing, amazing benefit to our buyers. VA jumbo is probably one of the easiest type of loans that I do in the fact that it's very similar to just the regular VA. It's just the jumbo amount. VA um, also, since it's no money down, let's say a client has money and they choose to put no money down so that they can reserve the money they have to pay over value. They can absolutely pay over value. I'm hearing that too. VA buyers can't pay over value. Yes, they can if they want to. So much out there can be confusing about this topic, I know, but the facts are it's a great loan for the clients. Um, no additional fees to the sellers. Appraisals aren't over scrutinized. Um, there are so many people out there that are eligible for a VA loan that are serving our country or have served our country. We owe this to them to just consider their offer. I've also had several situations where um, a client has been in a position where they also qualify for a conventional loan. But when you look at it hands down, the VA loan is always the better option. If you have any question about VA loans, please, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to chat with you about them. And if you got value from this video, please do me a favor, share, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.